What up, friends? I can never see all these, like, the way these glasses are polarized is super weird. I think that's what it is. Um, that's making it look like that, but we are headed out now. So our incredible cleaning ladies were here today. And I like when they come because obviously they clean my house and I'm very grateful for them. But it like forces me to sit down and just go head down in my computer and answer a bunch of emails that I tend to neglect. Um, but then I look up, they're gone and it's been hours and I feel like I haven't been productive. Whenever I'm doing like emails and text messages and catching up with things, it just doesn't feel as productive as it does when I'm like filming content or whatever. I'll show you my outfit. These shorts are so cute. They're a goldie, so they're a little, little bit on the more expensive side, but a goldie shorts are such a high quality short and they look good all the time. So, um, now we're gonna go vote. It is June 11th and I'm so happy that I don't have to get political mail anymore. Um, there is a guy for running for House of Representatives and he has sent me four pieces of mail every day for 60 days and it is driving me nuts. Um, two pieces of mail for him and then two pieces of mail against his opponent. <sighs> I'm so glad I don't have to get that anymore. But of course this will go up after. Make sure you vote. It is very important. It is um, something we are very lucky and blessed that we you know get to do um so make sure that you vote and then i have to run a target and grab a couple things including asparagus for dinner i cannot remember the last time we had asparagus we're doing steak asparagus and black beans for dinner i don't know i just kind of throwing together like we just had a lot of black beans and then we have steaks we want to cook and so i was like okay what well, is a green that i could put with that and i guess i could actually do broccoli I don't know, but we're gonna go grab that um, stuff at Target. I really irritated. So the Sally Hansen Insta Dry, I love that nail polish, but it stains, and I use a base coat. Like my fingernails have been stained, so um, I might look at the Essie Expressy while I'm there. But anywho, let's go ahead and get started. Got a lot, got a lot of errands to run, and a very, very, very small window to actually run them. I swear to you, there is absolutely nothing, and I do mean nothing worse than when someone is like approaching a register but you don't know if they're wanting to check out or if they're just near the register like it, this woman was like slowly approaching and i was like oh, do you want to go to the register so i just like passed around her and she didn't thankfully but i was just like she was close and anyway social anxiety um got our asparagus from target I also got a new brush. That's not what I went for though. And I came out with lots and lots of nail polishes. <laughs> so I got, these are all Essie Expressy, so they're supposed to be a quick dry like Sally Hansen, but hopefully a lot of you guys told me they won't stain my nails. So the colors, Seize the Minute, Trick Click, my dream job by the way, like dream dream job, naming nail polishes and lipsticks and makeups. That would be my dream job. Word on the street. In in the modem. That's what that says. In the modem. Uh, unapologetic icon. A white. I, of course, had to get a black. Now or never. And then express to impress. So, we're going to go home, but we got to go a little bit of a way. I don't like going because on my way here, there was a car accident and an ambulance was had to be there so like it's gonna just take so much longer than a regular accident takes to clean up because like one of the cars didn't work at all one of them was totaled and then there was an ambulance involved and it seemed like everyone was like okay in the sense that everyone like all the cars that were in the wreck were empty and everyone was standing of course an ambulance was called it's gonna take some time um so i hate that that happened but we're gonna we're gonna have to go home a weird way and then um by the time I get home, the boys will be back and it'll be dinner time. So we're gonna make dinner together today. Who's <laughs> trying to get out of the stroller but wearing underwear. They like to surf in this thing. It is so funny. Sorry, Mom. They like to surf in this thing. Bubba, you're literally wearing underwear and no shoes and no helmet. 
E. I mean, row. And get, Judy and get, Granddaddy okay. have to go to the and swim me in boiling spring. Okay. 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 Let's, take, let's take, let's take that out. We gotta go inside and make steaks. All right, friends, let me show y'all the best steak seasoning. I think I might have gotten it at Ingalls or Sam's Club. This is one of my favorite steak seasonings of life. It's so good. I have our steak marinating. And then also, whenever, I actually got this tip from a friend, whenever you are making asparagus, put cavenders on it. I don't know why this stuff is absolutely delicious on a lot of things, but some of our friends told us she, like we, they made, um, I think it was bacon wrap asparagus one time. And I was like, God, this is so good. And she was like, Cavenders, we put it on everything. So Cavenders is what's on our asparagus. And then the Kinders is what's on the steak that we're doing tonight. And then we're doing black beans, of course. All right, friends. I don't know what is going on with my kids. But 4 p.m. is let's... Let's make mommy go crazy time. So that's why we just, mm, mm, we out on the back porch getting some, getting some sun because I'm about to cry, I'm so overwhelmed, but they're both in bed. And I figured this would be the perfect time to actually kind of talk to you guys through a manicure at home. So I get a lot of requests about how I do my nails at home, whether it's gel, regular polish, how I make them last, how I make them look good. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, this is not the answer you wanna hear. It is a practice makes perfect situation and you're probably gonna have to have some botched manicures in the meantime. That's okay. But I remember, so I used to bite my nails horribly to the point that they would bleed. It is still something I do when I get very anxious. I haven't done it in years and years. I had the worst nail biting habit when I was in middle school and high school and I remember I bought a nail polish, no. I got a nail polish kit for Christmas. And when we got back from Christmas break, I was like bored. So I had done my nails. It was, I'll never forget it, a purple manicure with leopard print. It was so cool. I had done it myself and it looked really good. And all week long, people were complimenting me on my nails. So I just loved doing my nails. I was like, you know, I have these cool looking nails that I did myself, like this is nice. And I always got compliments on them. And so since I was a sophomore in high school, like 15, 16 years old, I have done my nails pretty regularly. I have gone through phases where I'll get them done. I have probably never gone longer than eight months getting my nails done before I start to get some sense and be like, this is a mediocre manicure that I'm paying out the ass for. And I just hate to pay that money for something that's like me. I know I could do it at my house. I also really hate to go to the nail salon. The time that it takes is just not fun. Um, it's just, it's not an enjoyable, relaxing thing for me. I've never understood how people find it relaxing. I think it's one of those things you either absolutely love it or you absolutely hate it right, for me. So anyways, I'm gonna give you all my little tips and tricks here in this video um, that I've learned over the years, but please understand that I've been doing this for like 13 or 14 years myself. And it really does, like practice does make perfect. And there are definitely still times I have like, I'll look at something and I'll be like, you know, I could have done better with this or whatever. But for the most part, if you find really good nail products, it, your manicure is going to last. But the biggest thing is the prep. And I say this to everybody. You cannot just expect to sit down and cut your nails, file your nails or whatever, and then just paint them and that'd be perfect. You have to really, there's a reason they do it at the salon. You have to buff. You have to push back your cuticles. You got to do all the things because that's going to give you the best opportunity for a manicure that actually is going to last and look good. So, anywho, I clearly, I'm just filing my nails now. They needed it. They have been a hot mess. I got my nails done, I think it was May. It was definitely not May, it was March. Um, I got my nails done like briefly, three or four times in March, and they have just been a hot mess ever since then. Um, and I, I liked the way they looked a couple times, and there was one time I went and I absolutely hated it. And then the, the last time I went, the guy literally every single nail I had was crooked. And I was like, no more. So a couple of my favorite brands, I have different brands that I like for different things. I will have everything linked below that I can. Olive and June, I go back and forth about their nail polish. It's very spotty. Some of the nail polish is absolutely incredible. Some of the colors are horrible. It's too inconsistent for me. While I do love it, it's just too inconsistent. Um, whites did never last. Like I, Olive and June was the first brand that I was really shocked because either the color would last for like a week plus or half a day. 
but they know nail care. Their cuticle oil, their nail oil, their nail files, their buffers are the best on the market. You can get their stuff at Target. Again, I'll have it linked below. You can go into the Target though. It's with all the nail section. They usually have an end cap. Um, it's not, not with all the nail stuff. It's in the nail section, but it's in an end cap in the nail section. They usually, cause end caps kind of are a little more dedicated. I have really bad hangnails today. I don't know why. Um, but Olive and June's what you're gonna, what you're gonna want. This little thing right here, a little cuticle trimmer thing. You're gonna want one of those, a really good one. Get them anywhere. Rite Aid, Walmart, Walgreens. Even some grocery stores, if they have a nail polish section, have them. Like, you just need a sharp one. I would replace this pretty frequently. One, because I do find that even cleaning them, they get kind of gross. But the moment they get dull, they don't work as well. Another thing you're going to want that's going to make the biggest difference. Again, Olive and June. This, like, nude color. Their cuticle pusher is the best out there. Um, I go back and forth about liking. It really just depends on what I'm doing. There's, like, cuticle... I don't know if it's called like a dissolver instant cuticle remover from sally hansen it literally will let's just do it it's a dissolvent so you basically put it all over your cuticles and then you push them down and they literally will like they make your cuticles just disappear it's really weird um you want your nails when you are doing them to be as dry and brittle looking as possible you want your nails to look just horrible and then once you're done painting your nails is when you go back in with your oil, your lotion, whatever. You want your nail to be horrendous looking as far as like, you don't want it to be just clean and soft and pretty. <laughs> you need it to be dry, dry, because that is how I find you get the best manicure at home is, oh God, that does, it just dissolves so fast, is you just, you can't have anything on your nail bed at all. That includes cuticle. You got to get that cuticle and push it down. This is such a long-winded video, but honestly, I get requests about this enough that I feel like this is my official in-depth tutorial. I'm going to send this to everybody from now until the end of time when they're like, do you have a video on how you do your nails? Yeah, girl. Not a 45-minute dissertation, but it was going to work. So... Push all of your cuticles down. It does make pushing your cuticles down easier. Sometimes mine can be a little. <sighs> okay, then what I go, I do after that is I go back with one of these little bad boys and I clip off any, and again, it's like a, it's a dissolvent. That's literally what it says on the bottle. So it makes your cuticles really soft. So you're not like pulling at the skin in a sense of like, it's gonna bleed. Okay, okay. All right, we are actually looking very nice. I do like to push all my nails down one good final time. So, you gotta take these little pads. They don't shed like cotton. And you have got to get your nail completely naked. You want it, again, to look like super, super dry. You don't want anything to be on there. You don't want your nails to be soft. You don't want nail polish. You will fix the dry cuticles and all that after. When you're painting them, you definitely want them dry, dry, dry. Look dry, feel dry, all the dryness. Okay. So that looks so good, so clean, so pretty. There are a lot of base coats out there, in my opinion. The SC Base Coat, I think it's called the First Base. I think they still make this one. SC First Base Coat is my, in my opinion, the best on the market. Again, I have tried them all. And I used to, there was a combo, I think I still have it linked on my Instagram, like nails highlight tab, maybe from eons ago. I used to, I think it was like Essie Base Coat, some kind of polish, it might've been Olive in June polish, and then OPI Top Coat. It was like such a wickedly powerful little trio. You gotta put the base coat on for a couple reasons. One, I find that this makes the nail polish stick even more. And then even more than that, it's gonna keep your nails from staining. And that was what was super weird to me about the Sally Hansen Insta Dry Nail Polish, which is why I wanted to try the SC Expressi, is because I used a base coat and it still stained my nails. And that was weird. I've never experienced that when I use a base coat, but specifically like your reds, your blacks, your dark blues, those are really gonna stain your nails. And that's not a cute look and it may transfer over to a new, a new manicure. So you don't want that. Base coat does not take long at all to dry. Let's see what we're going to use. 
Do we want to do funky? What do we want to do, guys? Do I want to do pink? Me, me, money, my catch dagger by the toe. We're gonna do the green one. Express to impress. Don't usually do colors like this. This is another little tip here. Ooh, I like that brush. I like a good big brush. Start at the bottom of your nail and then work up in the middle. Go to one side and then the other side and go slow, you guys. Just go slow. Ooh, that's gonna be pretty when it's all said and done. Look at that. Very summery. You guys know how to paint your nails. You know that part. Just go slow, be patient. Don't touch it to your cuticle. Although you shouldn't have much of a cuticle left at this point. Just go slow and you'll get there. Oh, look how pretty. This is gonna be such a pretty manicure. And I do really like the polish. Just like first impression, it feels very smooth. That is gonna look so cute when it's all said and done. All right, I'm gonna click the vlog off here because I've been talking for like 17 minutes and I'm gonna paint the rest of my nails, let them dry, do a second coat, and then I'll come back. Okay, so I'm uploading a YouTube video now. Um, main channel video, I have one that's like supposed to go up tomorrow, but the brand has not gotten back with me. The Lumino video, they have to like approve. Make sure you put your links in the right place. Make sure you didn't mention another brand. Those kind of things is what they approve. I get asked that from time to time. It's like, what do they approve? And it's just like, they have to make sure you're not like being paid by them and then you talk about someone else that does the same thing. Um, anyway, got my nails done. Look how good they look. Can you guys see? I don't know if you guys can see, but basically the best way to get a manicure that looks good is to keep it away from your cuticle. And that just comes with time and a steady hand. Um, I would rather have a gap underneath my nails than like polish right on top of my cuticle. And it just takes time, but it turned out so cute. And I ended up actually doing the Essie Gel Couture Top Coat. This is such a good top coat. Like eighth, ninth, 10th bottle of the stuff I've been through in the last couple years. It's so, so good. Um, and it's not quick dry. So that's why I'm kind of like, but I figured while I'm uploading this video, I'll go ahead and get tomorrow's vlog up that was yesterday's footage for you guys. So I need the memory card that is actively in my camera. So this was a long vlog, but thank y'all so much for watching. I hope that this helped a little bit. I know I didn't like actively show me physically painting my nails, but that's really because it's just a practice makes perfect thing. But the tips that I have as far as like tools and what to do with your nail before, like that really matters the most. I'll use the Olive and June I don't want to touch it because I know my nails are still wet. Um, Olive and June cuticle oil after I'm done. Here, Sally Hansen has a great cuticle oil. You can use lotion, um, but you do need to get oil on those nails. As soon as you know that they are dry, put cuticle oil all over your nails to really help rehydrate them. Um, and then you're, that will not affect how long your actual manicure lasts. But thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Mwah.